it's a it's it's a huge threat. Um, um, it's um, yeah. I mean, the process you're describing is what happens when essentially uh, we move from a system of where you walk into a place like this that, while it has its own biases, um, probably presents a number of different possibilities because they have no idea what you want when you walk in here, right? So they have to provide a, a number of different opportunities. Um, the difference between that and a, an algorithmically driven system like Facebook or YouTube is that it, um, it's starting to learn about what it is that, um, that you've liked in the past and therefore what you might like in the future. Um, and then we'll start to suggest to you more stuff that it thinks it will li you will like. And it's kind of short-circuiting your ability to then like, change your mind, essentially. Um, or to see anything that, 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 you know, um, that you might disagree with. Um, and that therefore also might, might have some impact on, 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 on your choice to change your mind. Um, that, that's absolutely been documented to have a, a huge effect. On, on populations, uh, it's, it's it's absolutely what's happening within these these systems, and ultimately, I I don't see it being changed anytime soon because it's 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 being driven by advertising money, uh, and that's what underlies these these platforms. Um, they're capable of um, uh, that. That's what drives advertising uh, by being able to predict what you might be interested in and then sell it to you immediately. Uh, they're doing that to your thoughts and to your ideas right now. Uh, that those things have become so closely. En enmeshed and overlapping, um, that uh, you know, political thought, political opinion is treated as the same kind of commodity. Um, uh, so yeah, um, it's it's that is exactly what's happening. I don't particularly see a way out of a, a way out of doing it, except by separating us from um, by separating the place where we do our politics from the places where we spend our money, uh, which, which used to be a perfectly reasonable thing to do. If you follow the the um, this recent thing that came out of Bloomberg yesterday and has been in the papers today around um, uh, Farage, uh, opinion pollsters, the Brexit referendum, uh, the role of hedge funds in that. Uh, when it became really strikingly clear that there's kind of no rules around political advertising and stuff once it becomes digital. Um, like the stuff that they're doing is like really obviously bad. Like whether they even did like affected it or not, it's really obvious that you shouldn't do it this way. And yet somehow, again, because it's sort of magic tech stuff, people are like, oh, but it must be the future. So we haven't like uh, been able to write laws around it or even to think very clearly about it. Um, I don't want to know what the solution is, but it's it's like again, I think we should be able to say fairly clearly that it shouldn't be this, uh, and start and start working on um, you know updating very clear and well-learned political history from the past to the present. <laughs>